Hi guys, welcome back to the Boeing Bookshelf. This is the Save the Bookshelf for December, because now we're finally able to do an actual month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit hectic. A little bit, um, but life is, I think, slowing down, at least somewhat. Um, let's see, so to kind of recap November, um, we, I, more I, um, have pretty much read nothing but the Lux series, um, or, um, uh, the Origin series by Jennifer L. Uh, it's kind of all I've been reading. I did finish Fever Song by Karen Marie, Mon Karen Marie Monning, so I'll be doing a review about that, um, shortly. Um, but, um, but yeah, no, that's just kind of all my reading list. I have reached 57 books this year, read. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm kind of nervous about next year's reading goal. Maybe next year I'll actually set a goal. You should totally set a goal. Uh, yes, I definitely need to get back into the habit of reading more. I've kind of slacked. Don't do it. Don't do it. Doesn't do it. help that most of my authors have been a little stuck in the hair lately. Um, Watch it. Come here. Do you have one new book that I will be starting? I should have already started it. But I've been pro procrastinating on everything. Mm -hmm. He did finish Karen Miller's book. The Awakened Mage. Um, um, should have already done that video and still haven't done that. So again, horrible about procrastination. We did finally finish Broken Eye. And hey, you said it right this time. We keep accidentally saying blinding knife instead. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, uh, uh, as far as we know, no new books are coming out for any of the authors we follow. Uh, I'm sure new books are, you know, out that we're interested in, just haven't really quite found them yet. Um, uh, definitely was doing some browsing for books coming out this month. It's also something I'm interested in looking into. Mm-hmm. Um... So I think most of them are series that I probably need to find the first book first. Yeah, definitely have a few. I've started actually making a wish list on my Amazon Kindle, just mainly because there's so many books and I lose track of which ones I want to buy later. And then when I try and go back and find them, I don't find them because I can't remember. Therefore, I get distracted by new books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I was kind of hoping uh, Brandon Sanderson had uh, even just an announcement for continuing in the Skyward series, kind of enjoyed that one, mind going back to it and finishing it, because they definitely have not finished. It kind of ended a little bit cliffhangery. There's a few of the Brandon Sanderson books that I feel like you would like. Yes. He has, he has several that I'm interested in reading, have not touched yet. I could definitely need to try the Mistborn series. Mm -hmm. um, I have started reading High Voltage by Karen <laughs> Raymoning. Um, um, Damn, guys, that's all I can say about it right now. <laughs> I'm almost halfway through the book already, and I started reading it yesterday. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm still reading the Lux series. I'm on book four. Um, did you realize that there was two books that I've never read out of that series? Uh, Obsession and Oblivion, which I'm debating. Doing like what I did with the House of Night, kind of just doing an overall series review or discussion about it because with Obsession, there was some parts in there that really kind of bothered me and, and um, yeah, it just didn't really sit well with me that, I don't know, maybe more people need to be warned about because I sure shit wasn't warned about that. Um, but yeah, he knows about it. We yes. kind of had to talk about that. Um, but yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, Sarah J. Moss has a new book coming out in January. Um, Continuing the Court of Thorns books. and Roses series. Um, it's a Court of Silver Flames. Something like that. It follows Nesta and uh, Cassian. Um, and then Rachel Vincent has a new book coming out in January, I believe, or at least in six weeks, whatever six weeks follows in what month. Um, it's Every Single Lie. So it's a new contemporary YA book for her. She also, I just remember she does have another book coming out um, later next year, summer. 
uh, next year. So it's another paranormal fantasy. It's like, yes. It's kind of like, at some point, Brent Weeks will be having more come out in the Night Angel series. Can't wait for that, but no, no new announcements about it yet. <laughs> so I've been adding some random books to Audible account to try out. Solely uh, picking some random new books to try. Mm -hmm. Try and find some new authors to follow. Yeah, to deepen our um, TV Red list. Yes, so there. that's already oh, a fun. very, very long list. <laughs> Especially for me. I, I keep wanting to go back to old books. I know, this year I just kind of sort of, I've kind of sort of written this year off as just being a reread. Yes. Re a year, like I've reread. Oh my God, the, ha the House of Night series. I'm rereading the Lux series. I am. Oh, that's Shark Claws, buddy. That's. <laughs> Come on. Not the new hoodie. Um, reread the House of Night series. Reread the Lux series. I'm rereading Carrie Marie Mine series. Um, so, and those are really like extensive series right there. I've mm -hmm. I've had not so many new books and, and and if they are new they are just published this year or whatnot books so yeah i'm just kind of like maybe next year i'll do a better time at, at, at my uh, my tv red list um every year I, I go into the new year with making my new book list um or, or my my reading goal my reading goal list um saying that you know i'm only going to read my my the books that are on my tv red shelf um, I'm not going to read any any books we've already read. Not the, there's not the point. I really do need to get through these books so I can add more because I've been trying to be a, a good adult <laughs> and not buy more books on top of the books that I still haven't read. You know how hard that is? Yeah. Especially when it's an author you're already reading is putting out a new book. So, I at least have that going for me with most of my authors are in between books right now, so they're not quite having new stuff come out. Mm, you're lucky. <laughs> sort of. Some of them I'm really wanting that next book. Yeah, okay, we'll also take, take a gander at this. So, Karen Marie Monning's next book, um, Court of Light and Shadows, like, ouch, Kingdom of Light and Shadows, I think that's what it's actually called, um, is, her book was slated to come out in January. Because of COVID, it's been pushed back to, it was pushed back to like the beginning of February. Now it's pushed back to the end of February. Here. <laughs> um, and from the group that I follow with on Facebook for Jennifer L. Armentrout, people are might, or people are kind of sort of thinking that the next book in the origin series might be delayed. Which, if you've read The Brightest Night, you know how much of a punch in the gut that might be. I'm hoping that's not the case, because um, the third book in the Harbinger series isn't getting delayed. That's it's right. um, coming out next year in June, I think. might be a summer release. Um, so, we'll don't know. We're trying to have to wait and see. So, yeah, I mean, you look forward to the... Broken Eye review that we're going to do, the Fever Song review. My Awakened Mage review. Yeah. I know I have a couple of series that I'm wanting to do that will be uh, quick reads, so I should be able to do a review on them soon. Um, Holly Black and Cassandra Clare have a series together that it's young readers, so it's real quick reads, so. Thing I'm gonna end up doing those some too. I feel like I'm about to get attacked. Probably do those as a series, or the whole series as one review though. But yeah, so those are kind of some things to look forward to. Nothing really has changed. Um, I mean, it's been the same thing for the past few months. I'm reading more because I have more time. Um, I'm reading less than I want to because I don't have anywhere near as much time as I was expecting. <laughs> Hey! Do not. It's a tree, not a chew toy. Jesus. Um, 
But anyway, so yeah, there are some things to look forward to. Um, and uh, for this month, and then we'll be back at the end of the month to, I guess, recap the whole year, how we did on our first... Yeah. Even though it's not going to be a completely full year, we didn't start doing this until January, end of January. Yeah. But we are pretty much approaching yep. our year mark. Kind of look back on the year and discuss how we how we did and are there any expectations that we thought we would have that we haven't met or probably go ahead and uh, and that announce our official um, reading goals for next year uh-huh but yeah so thank you all for watching uh, thank you all for being with us and supporting this for for however long we've been doing this 11 months or so as many books that we've read that y'all have watched and all that we greatly appreciate it um definitely appreciated the suggestions we've gotten i yes. have a growing list of suggestions i need to get and start reading yes like I, even still just with our, our our october state of the bookshelf where where people were suggesting or guys that guy was suggesting um um the horror reads that i want i desperately want to go back and read so yes. we appreciate y'all Thank you all very much. And this has been the Say the Bookshelf for December. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Yep. And uh, we'll catch y'all next time. Bye. Bye.